right, let's get started. This is multiplication and division of exponential numbers, page 15 through 17, exercise 1G. Chapter 1, okay, so you may have learned something different about having to add exponentials and, and doing just the value part. Hey, this is simple. It's the exact same multiplication division rules that you already learned. Your job is to punch these numbers into your calculator correctly, hit equals, and write down the right sig figs. It's a piece of cake. Now, how you put a number into your calculator can be different based on the calculator. My, my suggestion is try it on your own, and if you can't figure it out, go see your teacher. He'll help you. She'll help you figure out exactly how to get exponentials in your calculator. Chances are putting a number in exponential notation will require you to hit an EE button or maybe an EXP button or maybe a times 10 to the N button but what it will not do is you're not going to hit the multiply button you're not going to hit 10 you're not going to hit the 10 to the X button or the log button or the E to the X button. It's very easy because maybe exponentials aren't something that you've done very much to be punching the wrong thing in your calculator and it can really screw you up. So, let's make sure. Here's an example problem. 171 times 10 to the minus 11th divided by 417.0 times 10 to the 12th. Well, if you remember multiplication and division rules say that I should be able to tell how many sig fig rule, uh, significant digits are in my answer and the way you go about deciding that is saying 1, 2, 3 in this number, sig figs, 1, 2, 3, 4 in this number, 4 divided by 3, the answer is going to have 3 sig figs, right? So, can you punch 171 times 10 to the minus 11th into your calculator correctly, then divide by 417.0 times 10 to the 12th? Hit equals, and then write the answer to 3 sig figs. That's your job. Now remember, we are not going to multiply anything here. We don't hit the multiply by button. We don't type in the number 10. We hit 171 EE minus 11, or maybe on your calculator 417.0 EXP 12, and then put the uh, division sign in between. So, you punch that number divided by that number, you get this big number as your raw calculated number. You have to write the answer to three sig figs. Rounding says that's where you finish. That's the right answer. That's it. It's really simple. Alright, so practice exercise 1G. That's where you want to do as many of these as possible. Make sure you get good at using your calculator correctly. All right, so here's the practice problems. Uh, let's see if I can slick this around here. Okay. Everybody got that? Okay. 7.70 times 10 to the 42nd times 3 times 10 to the minus 8th. What's that answer? You're not supposed to see that part. B. 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd divided by 8.0200 times 10 to the 11th. And then example number C. 35 times 10 to the minus 61 times 1.61 times 10 to the 11th times 0 0.00120 times 10 to the minus 4th is equal to what? Do those problems. Hit the pause button now. Get your right answers. Make sure you're writing them to the right sig figs. And then compare them to the right answers. Okay, hit pause. Alright, you're back. Let's see if you ended up with these answers. These are the correct answers. One sig fig here because of one sig fig in this number. Three sig figs in this answer because of this value. And then two, three, and three sig figs, so the answer is only two. 
Okay, so hopefully you got those values, and if you need more practice, have at it.